Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get custom items inside of Minecraft without having to use mods or data packs at all. So without further ado, let's go. Right, so first things first on this, we actually are going to be using a website to generate this command. So if we real quick just hop out of Minecraft and we can just hop straight into this website, which I already have, which will be linked in the description so you guys can open it up as well. So first things first, we're going to search here for the item that we want to change. So I'm thinking of something really, really stupid, like a potato. And now we have this, we're going to click show advanced options, which allows us to see a lot more stuff. And now we can name it. And if you want to hit like some custom things like I did in the thumbnail with the little characters, we can just go to a rune translator. And we can load up a rune translator here, allowing us to use a lot of these different shapes and things like that. So I think I'm going to be using this M shape. So we just copy that, go back to the website, paste, and we're going to call it the Holy Potato. And we're going to paste that again. And now by highlighting this, we can change it to a different color. So the text will be a different color in game. So I'm thinking of making this red and these bits on the side yellow, try and holyify it. And then the law, we're going to obviously have to give it some law. And that, I think that's a pretty good law, personally. One of the million potatoes farmed in the Great Potato War. Obviously, a little link back to the Technoblade time of the Great Potato War, which was still one of the most, one of my most favourite things ever. But now, when we've got this, we can go into enchantments and we can add a bunch of enchantments. So, personally, um, I'm just going to give you guys a tip. If you want to do enchantments like this, they can go up to 255, but I suggest keeping it to 10, because anything above 10, it won't use the um, Roman numerals anymore, and it will just look really clunky, because it'll just be a long line of text saying, oh, this enchantment, this enchantment, this enchantment, this. So I just say keep it to 10 and below, but we're definitely going to be giving it knockback and fire aspect, and the higher level of fire aspect, the longer the fire is going to last. So, I'm also going to give it sharpness, because, I mean, come on, man, we've got to give it sharpness. It's a potato. It needs sharpness. And I think that is good. Yeah. Right, so now we go to extras. We're going to add unbreakable, damage that is already taken, how much it's going to take to repair it, yada, yada, yada. But I'm not going to be using any of this. I'm just going to go straight to the attributes, which are very, very cool. So, we add an attribute here. We can add anything in the game and make it so when you hold this or put in any of your inventory slots, you can gain a random effect. So if we do, let's say, attack damage, this is how much attack damage the item is going to have. So we're going to do main hand. This is how much it's going to have when it's in your main hand. And I'm thinking of making it really overpowered and doing something like 100. So now we've got that. We can also add speed and things like that. Now these two here, adventure mode, allows you to break things or place things in adventure mode. Import, I'm still not quite sure how this works personally. But another thing you are able to do is add in the actual some custom model data. I personally don't know how to do this, but I'm pretty sure some of you geniuses out there probably know how to do this. So I'm going to leave that to you. And now we have all of this, we can just click copy code or copy command. Head back into our Minecraft. Oh. There we go. Head back into our Minecraft, head into our creative inventory and grab a command block and a lever. Like so. And if we just chuck that down with a lever beside it and paste the command in here. Done. And flick this. You can now see we have the holy potato. It has the fire aspect 10, the knockback 10, sharpness 10. It has the law, one of the greatest, one of the million potatoes farmed in the Great Potato War. And there is the plus 100 attack damage. Also, if you guys want to get this operator utilities in your world, um, make sure you have op in your world, obviously. Go to options, controls, and it is right here. Operator items tab, turn that on and off, allowing you to have this little inventory here. But now that we have the holy potato, I think we've got to go up to my arena and test it out with some mobs. Right, so here we are in front of the minigame Apocalypse that I'm currently trying to make. And if we just open this up and then close it. In here is just some starter stuff which I usually make a whole game out of. You can see this is actually a pretty big arena. And then over here we have the Emerald Shop. You can buy multiple custom items that I've already made. 
like the carrot of gold, which is sort of the thumbnail, heart of the wither, chest plate of Odin, scrap chest plate, with the storm heart shard, and carrot of Hades. A lot of cool stuff there, thank you, sir. And this would use as a data pack to get him to do that. And currently, it's the holy potato. So we're just gonna shut that up, and we're going to test out the holy potato on some mobs, which I should. Yeah, they should one tap. So we head into survival mode real quick. Yeah, they are all gonna start charging at me. We just got a whacker, man. Run away, try and no, we don't want to eat it. Whack. This is just so easy, man. This potato just so much damage. Oh, and I died. Whoops. Anyways, um, the potato does so much damage, you just gotta make sure to not die. This is why we have custom items like chest plates. Ah. Now that is the holy potato, which you see is really overpowered. And with this website, you can create any item. It does not just have to be a potato. You can create anything. So I wanted um, netherite. I could get a netherite sword, I could get a netherite axe, I could get a nether star, which you saw I've used, or nether quartz, and you can change it to anything you want. And if you do want the special kind of mystic type of text, we can actually enable it with styles and do whatever that word says. And that will be purple here. So we copy command again for the quartz, but it's called a holy potato for some reason. And we grab our, our command block and our lever, like so. You can see now the kind of lore of it is now all messed up, which I still think is kind of cool. But yeah, that is how you add custom items to Minecraft. And if you guys enjoyed this video, you might enjoy this one too. So like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.